I chat in today's video we're gonna be building another subscriber a house and uh, it shouldn't surprise you that they asked for another farmhouse which is uh for some reason very popular among you guys I'm also not gonna do the interior because they didn't ask to do the interior so if they didn't ask I'm probably not gonna do the interior because that is just how I roll but anyways they have hit me with some inspiration pictures as you can see they've pretty much chosen uh the, the most generic farmhouse possible like I I'm sure I'm sure everyone's come across this when they've looked up modern farm house or at least any single story suburban family whatever dwelling so yeah i've actually never tried to make this on my own so i guess this is a a, a good opportunity to make something uh, more generic than i normally make and that's very generic so i've kind of already started to build here and it's really simple to build as long as you follow the image and i guess the first thing we could start on is the windows i'm just gonna do the classic windows that i usually do and i'm gonna skip forward to the part where i finish making the windows i actually spent a lot of time doing this and i'm I'm voicing over this so that's why i'm speaking in like past tense ish yeah what was i saying again oh yeah I, I i did a lot of detailing on the windows but i i didn't like it at some points and i had to redo it and then there were also curtains that i needed to add which were also custom because the if the, the built-in curtains or whatever's in the game right now those aren't the very best but you could also argue that the curtains that i made aren't the best either it's just different and fresh but that's whatever that, I, that doesn't matter all right anyways windows aside i gotta start working on these curtains that are custom because i forced myself into making something custom yeah oh yeah one of the requests uh by the 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 person that i'm building for his name's landon they wanted me to go as custom as possible obviously i don't go as custom as possible but i did put a lot more detail into the walls for this so so there's that and to make the curtains i used a structural plank and then i just outlined it with the the smaller square beams which in hindsight is uh, a little basic but I'm not gonna comment further on that anyways once the windows were pretty much done all I had to do was copy and paste them all over the house on the front facade at least and then I got to coloring but uh <laughs> I don't know about coloring guys it's just white so is there really any coloring it's okay because it matches the image that they gave me anyways I decided to make a smaller window here just because it the, the, the big window didn't fit on the the small wall at the front I guess that was pretty self-explanatory I don't know why I was explaining that but yeah it's it's good to have a variety of windows so your build doesn't look too copied and pasted but then again you're watching the faulty channel so you're probably gonna find a bunch of copy and pasted stuff anyways once i got that done i decided to be a little special here and put a bunch of pillars inside this walls god dang did this take a lot of time to do and to make matters worse i uh, actually no no, no I'll, I'll let i'll let you watch the video until the mid part and and you'll see what happens but <laughs> yeah this was a bit tedious but it ended up looking very good so i'm not complaining hopefully the guy's not complaining um it, it took a lot of time luckily for them i was motivated and i just did this for the entirety of the house which i kind of regret doing because i'll end up deleting it later anyways but uh no no spoilers for later it looked really good at this point but i i think it was missing a bit of variety in terms of uh texture and stuff so i started adding some wall trim as per usual and i also removed some of the pillars on some of the walls so that way there would be you know a difference in the variety of sections anyways just some extra detailing on the outside as well just colored the grass i think and then the the sidewalk and the the garden bed at this point it wasn't looking too bad all i had to do was touch up some things and start putting on the roof but i haven't actually finished the rest of the outline so i can't really do that now can i so to get started on it i added some pillars out to the front just for an overhang thing because that was what the image looked like and i i plan to go by the image i was trying to decide between these straight up pillars and then the ones that uh kind of beveled in and uh the ones that kind of beveled inwards i completely forgot what the pillars were called i've been playing this game for six years oh god six years sounds like a terrible number anyways i'm putting this little beam across the front two columns because there's a roof that needs to go there in the end oh yeah i also did some really cool stuff with the, the front the front side so you'll see that later but for now it's just a bunch of gable roofs inside of each other and i decided to do them separately just so i can change the color or the texture within the little triangle I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but it's, it's just so there's a variety of texture. And then I got to the cooking part. And at first I decided to use a slanted roof, but that didn't look right. And uh, the builder that hired me kind of wanted me to try. So I started using a bunch of basic sh uh, basic shapes, not basic. Sh uh. Yeah, no, you get what I'm trying to say here. But uh, it looked really good in the end. And I'm really happy with how it turned out because I've never thought of this before. And I'm probably going to do that for any builds in the future. 
future. It just matches a lot more and doesn't stick out as much, if, if you know what I mean. Anyways, now that that's all done, it's time to BS the rest of the house. And, uh, yeah, th there were no images on what the back of the house looked like, so I just had to improvise and just do a bunch of random shapes that worked out in the end, but, uh, man, just wait until what happens later, bro. Oh my god, I hated this. Anyways, turned out really well. Lots of different pointy parts. Really happy with it at this point, and all I had to do was add a bit more detail to make it really pop. Uh, it's okay. It's it looks okay. It looks okay. I'm coping, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna torture myself a little more, and I'm gonna put uh more pillars up on the gable roofs because I'm just like that. I'm him, bro. Holy heck. But anyways, this just continues whatever patterns we had going on on the first floor. So I kind I kind of set myself up for failure and success at the same time. But man, why did I do this? Oh oh yeah, and the guy disconnected very frequently on the first part of recording recording this because oh my god i i all respect the dedication i think my guy was calling in the car or not calling in the car he was joining he was playing the game while he was in the car he wasn't driving but he was in the back seat and he was playing on data so mad respect i don't know how you do that all right so once he was back and he rejoined the game and i took a fat <laughs> in the in the toilet it was back onto building but this did not last long because because he disconnected shortly after and uh i just decided to continue another day this was also and i'm kind of mentioning this very late this was like two a month back when the grass was still looking like shrek piss and then there was uh there was this blocksburg thing that didn't let you join the game so i had to i had to hold back on this for a bit but anyways back to working on the house we joined a new server and it doesn't look like there's any problems so i'm just gonna continue working Working on it. There are just some things that I have to do, like the shutters on the side, uh, j just minor details, nothing too important that I have to keep in the video because you guys can probably understand everything that's gonna happen. Like, I'm coloring the roof right here, and uh, I don't need to explain that, right? 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 Anyways, as I continue to work on the house, I've just put these pillars alongside all of the walls just to continue the or c keep consistent the facade that we have going on for the farmhouse. Yeah, this was something I really didn't want to do, and it was very tedious, but anyways, I got it done just added on some pavement as well to the side so you would have a place to park your car or something no idea what the guy's gonna use this house for he might honestly delete it so <laughs> if that happens uh i don't know how i'd feel about that but anyways at this point i'm pretty much finishing up the house but there was one more thing that he wanted me to do and i'll mention it later or it's probably coming up soon but you'll see just gotta make it around to the back and finish all of the wall trim as for the interior i'm not gonna get into doing the layout yet but I will eventually. I have an idea for what I want to do. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention this. This guy didn't have the gardening level all the way up. It was like level two or something, and I couldn't even use any of the trees, which is why all you see is bushes right now. But before I completed the house, I got I got him to do the leveling up for that. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you for not making me have to work with just bushes, because that would have been a pain in the ass. Anyways, let's get this roof trimming up on this house, because that would probably add a lot more. Or it would just define the roof more. I do this for every single build. I I, I kind of realize that I'm repeating things, but it's okay. I have I have a busy semester and I need to get done. Yeah, anyways, I'll let you guys watch me work on this house for, for the next couple of minutes because I have nothing much to commentate over this. It, it's literally just me building and you've seen me build enough. Maybe I should do less builds. I, I should bring back like the, the events and stuff, but uh, I, I guess that's not something I should be talking about in this video. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I don't know. There's just so much I want to do, but I don't have the motivation to do it right now. Maybe in the summer when I'm free and I don't have a bunch of assignments poking me in the back. Okay yeah i said i wasn't gonna talk uh I'll, I'll let you watch or you know you could just skip ahead to when i'm finished building because this is boring
Right, so I finished the speed build section of this video, but it is actually not done because guess what, chat? He made me redo the entire house and move it to the center of the plot. Let's f Yeah, anyways, I, I actually didn't have much of a problem with this because it was really easy to just copy and paste. Like, I've done it for all of my YouTube career, so <laughs> what's new? And honestly, it gave me a chance to rework some of the windows and shutters, like the small details. And just to make it all better, he finished the gardening thing, so now I can actually use trees. Yeah, there's nothing much to say here. It's just me moving stuff forward and to the left a bit. Actually, no, I'm gonna start complaining. This this was a bit of a, a, a hassle, but you know, it's okay. I gotta please. I'm not mad. So you guys can watch me do this for the next couple of minutes. We're gonna say that so many times in this video. I'm, I'm gonna let you guys watch me for the next couple of minutes. Like this, this is so boring. So I'm gonna skip to the meat and potatoes where I do the gardening, which brings the life out of all buildings that I make. I have no idea why I'm smacking my fists together, but it, it adds to the juice. Like, it, it actually sounds like there's juice. All right, chat, gardening 101 with faulty. First things first, we gotta dress this entire house with cypress trees oh yeah and we gotta redo the the garage driveway thing next thing we have to do is absolutely clobber this thing with bushes of, of just all sorts the, the the small shrub bushes and even some rocks as well just to bring in some uh variety of of nature yeah i'm, I'm full i'm fully waffling right now i have no idea what i'm saying but like you, you just go in with random stuff and then obviously you can't forget the hints of color by adding some flowers why not and then just for for the sake of it, we're gonna put some pine trees in with the cypress trees as well, so just so we have some more variety. Bro, I feel like the longer you watch this, it's just like me getting more and more irritated with this build, but god, it turned out so st Yeah, I'm gonna forget I said that, but you, you get you get what I mean. Anyways, we're just gonna finish up the wall trimming and uh, all the all the roof trimming as well, just cause, you know, we moved the entire house a couple of blocks up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, no, I'm never getting over that. And then we're also gonna recolor some of the trees just to make it a little more washed because, you know, realistic trees aren't that colorful. Actually, sometimes they are, but like, you know, I'm not that colorful and I, I don't know how to color, but it's okay. Anyways, moving on to the interior. We're just gonna lay this out for him because, you know, I can't decorate and it wasn't really in in the in the request for me to decorate so if it wasn't in the request then i don't need to do it simple as that also i think he said he was getting his friend to friend to get the interior done so that's very helpful but i'm basically laying out the house as i would with any other house just gonna divide it into its separate rooms bathroom bedroom living room kitchen always forgetting a bathroom putting in an office instead of a bathroom occasionally because you know office takes priority not your hygiene but yeah all all, all the simple things and i I was nice enough this time just to put in a bunch of you know the basic furniture items just to indicate what everything is or maybe that's not a nice gesture and maybe they just wanted some autonomy with whatever they wanted to do with the interior of this house i don't know bro i actually had a bit of a hard time laying this out properly because like some the living room didn't line up with the back door the kitchen didn't line up with the back door and honestly even in the end i don't i don't think the layout is that that good it's good enough for this house i i, I have no idea how it would be laid out in real life but <laughs> it's close enough. Anyways, once I got all of the main furniture items in and the doors and windows aligned, uh, all I had to do was put in the wall trim, spam that on all of the walls, and then I was pretty much done with the entire house. Oh yeah, and I had to do flooring, but that, that that's like easy and I don't have to explain that. Anyways, this is the finished product, the house uh, that we built from an image for the subscriber. I can't lie, it looks really good. No cap. It, it's so generic. But yeah, I honestly am kind of proud of how this turned out. It, it was a lot better, especially with the hiding of the roof. And maybe the custom shutters and then how, how the linen wood supports complement the white. Oh yeah, one last thing that he didn't have was the, the color palette tool. What What's that called? The color picker tool. Which was a little annoying, but you know, I got it done in the end. It looks okay. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you want to see me do more subscriber build. Damn, I actually had a proper outro this time.